to the Marysville Auto Plant. Today, we're going to take a look at several manufacturing processes, including parts delivery, stamping, plastics, weld, paint, assembly, and vehicle quality. This plant began production in 1982 with only one assembly line. Today, the plant operates two shifts on two assembly lines and employs approximately 4,500 associates who build a cord four-door, a cord two-door, and Acura TL vehicles. Producing approximately 1,800 vehicles a day, the plant has an annual capacity of 440,000 units. Let's go inside and take a look. The plastics department produces the instrument panel as well as the front and rear bumpers. To produce the instrument panel shell, plastic pellets are melted and forced at high pressure into an injection molding machine. After the part is formed, excess trimmings are removed and a padding material is applied. Additional processes will prepare the panel for sub-assembly where parts such as the radio and navigational displays will be added. Bumpers are produced in a similar manner as the instrument panel shell. The process begins with plastic pellets that are melted down and injected into a bumper mold. Trimmed, painted, and inspected, completed bumpers are then sent to the main assembly line and fastened to the car. The stamping department produces all of the exterior body panels, such as the side panels, doors, hood, roof, trunk lid, and fenders. To begin the stamping process, large coils of steel are loaded onto a blanking press. Much like a cookie cutter, the steel is cut into specified sheet sizes called production blanks. The blanks are loaded onto a skid and sent to the appropriate press that will bend and form the parts. The blank will travel through two to four sets of dies before it's complete. While the dies inside the press are operating, the next set of dies will be loaded on an open platform in preparation for the next die change. It takes less than five minutes to perform a fully automated die change. At the end of the press lines, associates inspect each part to verify quality before loading them onto carts for delivery to the weld department. Stamping maintains a day and a half of supply of parts, enough inventories to support production. The unit comes together for the first time in the weld department. Here, parts from stamping are first sub-welded in order to strengthen those components before they are joined together to form the vehicle. The side panels, roof, floor, front dash and rear tray are tacked together inside this complex welding system, which is called a general welder. It applies several hundred spot welds in about one minute. Since the vehicle is only spot welded in the general welder, the unit is sent through additional robotic welding stations to strengthen the car. Approximately 98% of the welding is performed robotically, while a handful of associates apply MIG welds to areas of the car that the robots cannot reach. Associates attach parts such as the hood, front fenders, doors, and trunk lid to the car body prior to inspection. Before the vehicle is released to paint, associates make final adjustments and confirm quality. In paint, the vehicle goes through several dip tanks to clean and degrease the unit. Corrosion protection adheres to the vehicle as it travels through an electrodeposition tank. Sealer is applied to all the joints, hems, and seams, and an associate will fan the seal out to ensure a smooth seam. In addition, the vehicle receives a primer surfacer, a color coat, and a clear coat. After each of these steps, the unit travels through an oven. Associates inspect the top coat and apply a wrap guard on all the horizontal surfaces to protect the unit during the final assembly and shipping. Honda operates on a just-in-time delivery system, keeping no more than a three to four hour supply of parts in the plant at one time. Parts are delivered on a continual basis throughout the shift. Some components arrive at the plant in sequence with the vehicles online, which is called a body-on-sequence system. Examples of body-on-sequence parts are seats, tires, glass, and engines. For logistical purposes and production control, 
Vehicles are built in a lot or block consisting of approximately 60 units each. The vehicles are the same in regards to the engine and transmission, but may vary in color, trim level, and other factors as well. Once the vehicle transfers from paint to assembly, the doors are removed and sent to a sub-assembly line. By removing the doors, associates on the main assembly line can install components into the vehicle with ease. After the doors are fully assembled, they are sent back to the main line to be reattached to the unit. The main assembly line is split into five zones, which are wiring and tubing, interior, chassis, exterior, and complex. At the end of each zone, associates will inspect major processes within that zone, confirming quality before the vehicle travels to the next zone. Associates are part of a team that consists of about 9 to 15 associates per team. Within the team, the associates will typically rotate between processes every two or four hours throughout their shift. Multiple build sheets accompany each vehicle through assembly. A build sheet identifies the proper parts to install on the unit and helps associates confirm quality as the vehicle moves through production. Every engine at the Marysville Auto Plant is supplied by Honda's Anna Engine Plant, located in Anna, Ohio. There, associates fully assemble engines and attach the transmission. When the engine arrives here, associates add brake and suspension components. The engine and suspension are loaded onto a platform and installed into the vehicle. Throughout assembly, there are many assist arms to assist associates in lifting heavy components, such as fuel tanks, instrument panels, and doors. Once fully assembled, associates perform final inspection before the unit is sent into vehicle quality. Associates check the hood, doors, and trunk lid to confirm the fit and finish. In vehicle quality, 100% of the units are sent through a series of tests. First, sophisticated features such as the adaptive cruise control, blind spot monitoring, forward collision warning, and lane change monitoring systems are calibrated and tested. The unit receives a static wheel alignment and the headlights are adjusted. The unit is driven on a dynamometer which checks engine and transmission functions, cruise control, and the anti-lock braking system. The unit is sent through a shower testing booth to check for water leaks and then driven on a test track, testing various road surfaces. Additional inspections will take place to confirm quality before the vehicle is shipped to the dealership. I hope you enjoyed the information I've shared with you today and the opportunity to see world-class manufacturing here at the Marysville Auto Plant. On behalf of the associates at Honda of America, thank you and have a safe day.